In the distant past, within the ancient realm of Magata, resided a youthful prince known as Aditya Gautama. He enjoyed a life of opulence, surrounded by all the luxuries and advantages that wealth could provide. King Harish, his father, had ensured that he was shielded from the hardships and sorrows of reality in an attempt to prepare him for kingship. Yet, Aditya's inquisitive nature led him to contemplate deeply on the mysteries of existence and mortality. One day, as he rode his horse, he came across an elderly man with wrinkled skin, a hunched back, and grey hair. Aditya was taken aback as he had never encountered an aged person before. Turning to his charioteer, he inquired, Who is that individual? The charioteer responded, That is an elderly man, my lord. Aging comes to all, including kings and princes. Aditya felt puzzled. It dawned on him that one day he too would grow old and confront a similar destiny as the elderly man. Aditya's curiosity about the essence of suffering and death grew over time. He started to inquire and search for answers from his mentors and thinkers, yet he discovered no fulfillment in their responses. It dawned on him that he must uncover the truth on his own. One night, as the kingdom slumbered, Aditya departed from his palace and ventured into the world in search of enlightenment. Along his journey, he encountered a wise sage who imparted the teachings of meditation guiding him towards inner tranquility. Subsequently, he embarked on a pilgrimage across diverse regions of the land, absorbing knowledge from numerous mentors and spiritual guides. Ultimately, after six years of wandering, he arrived at Bodh Gaya, where he sought solace beneath a Bodhi tree and meditated fervently for 49 days. During this period, he underwent a significant revelation regarding the essence of suffering and the journey to freedom. He gained recognition as Gautama Buddha, also known as the Awakened One. At the same time, in a neighboring village resided a young girl named Priya. She was renowned for her compassion and benevolence, regularly providing food for the impoverished and destitute. Despite her altruism, she too grappled with emotional anguish in her past. Losing her mother at a tender age and being left feeling neglected and isolated by her father's remarriage weighed heavily on her heart. Craving affection and validation, she struggled to place trust in others. One day, while strolling through the forest, she encountered a gathering of monks en route to Bodh Gaya to visit the Buddha. Kindly offering them food, she inquired about the Buddha. They shared insights into his teachings and his remarkable capacity to alleviate suffering. Intrigued by their words, Priya resolved to journey to see the Buddha firsthand. Upon reaching Bodh Gaya, she beheld the Buddha seated beneath the Bodhi tree, exuding an aura of tranquility and calmness. Feeling a deep connection with him, she chose to linger and absorb his teachings. The Buddha discussed the Four Noble Truths, the Eightfold Path, and the Middle Way. He emphasized the impermanence of everything, the interconnectedness of all living beings, and the significance of nurturing compassion and wisdom. Priya felt a profound impact from the Buddha's teachings, prompting her to choose the path of becoming a nun. Embracing vows of celibacy, poverty, and obedience, she dedicated herself to pursuing enlightenment. Through meditation, mindfulness, and loving-kindness practices, she gradually released her emotional burdens and discovered inner peace. One day, she approached the Buddha with a question, how can I enhance my emotional strength? How do I conquer my fears and uncertainties? The Buddha responded, Priya, to fortify your emotional resilience, it is crucial to comprehend the essence of your emotions. Emotions are akin to passing clouds while the sky remains constant. Similarly, your core essence is unwavering. However, emotions can obscure your clarity and lead to suffering. The cornerstone of emotional fortitude lies in nurturing mindfulness and wisdom to observe thoughts and feelings without becoming entangled in them. Priya paid close attention to the teachings of the Buddha and inquired, how can I nurture mindfulness and wisdom? The Buddha advised her, to achieve this, you should engage in meditation and reflection. Strive to embody qualities like serenity, lucidity, and perception. Additionally, foster compassion and benevolence within yourself to foster profound empathy and comprehension for both yourself and others. Priya embraced the Buddha's guidance wholeheartedly committing to daily meditation and mindfulness practices. Through dedicated observation of her thoughts and emotions without bias or immediate response, 
she gained profound insights into her own psyche. Nurturing compassion and loving kindness towards both herself and others, Priya discovered that these qualities empowered her to conquer fear and uncertainty. Meanwhile, in the palace, King Harish, Aditya's father, grew concerned about his son's whereabouts. He dispatched search parties to locate him, but they came back without any success. Eventually, a messenger returned with the revelation that Aditya had embraced monkhood and resided in Bodh Gaya. This news enraged the king, as he had envisioned his son becoming a powerful ruler rather than a wandering ascetic. Determined to confront Aditya, King Harish journeyed to Bodh Gaya, where he was struck by his son's newfound radiance and tranquility, evoking feelings of admiration and reverence within him. He requested Aditya to educate him on his journey, and Aditya accepted. The father and son then sat together beneath the Bodhi tree, where Aditya imparted knowledge about the Four Noble Truths, the Eightfold Path, and the Middle Way to his father. He enlightened him on the transient nature of all things, the interdependence of all creatures, and the significance of nurturing compassion and wisdom. King Harish felt a profound impact from his son's teachings, leading him to recognize that Aditya had discovered the authentic path to freedom. This realization prompted him to embrace Buddhism and commit himself to cultivating mindfulness and wisdom. Years went by, and both Priya and King Harish attained enlightenment with the Buddha's guidance. They acquired emotional strength through the practice of mindfulness, wisdom, compassion, and loving kindness. Letting go of their emotional burdens, they discovered inner peace and generously shared their wisdom and compassion to assist others in overcoming their suffering. In the end, Aditya Gautama transformed into Gautama Buddha, the Enlightened One, and his teachings resonated across the globe, motivating countless individuals to seek inner tranquility and joy. Priya and King Harish devoted themselves as his followers, leading peaceful and fulfilled lives after discovering the genuine route to emotional resilience and freedom. Emotional resilience stems from within, not reliant on external sources. To fortify your emotional strength, delve into the essence of your feelings. The cornerstone of emotional robustness lies in nurturing mindfulness and wisdom. Emotions are transient like passing clouds, yet the core remains steadfast like the unchanging sky. Strengthening emotionally involves observing thoughts and emotions impartially. Fostering compassion and kindness towards yourself and others is pivotal for emotional fortitude. The journey to emotional strength commences with self-awareness and self-acceptance. Release control over the uncontrollable and concentrate on what you can influence. Emotional strength isn't about eradicating emotions, but about gracefully navigating through them. You wield authority over your emotions, choosing how to respond to them wisely. To bolster emotional resilience, confront fears head-on with determination and bounce back from setbacks with tenacity. The mind serves as a potent instrument that can be harnessed to nurture emotional resilience. Have faith in your own capabilities to conquer any emotional obstacle. Emotional strength isn't about perfection, but rather the capacity to recover from adversity. Prioritizing self-care and self-compassion is crucial for fostering emotional fortitude. Discover how to release negative emotions and nurture positive ones. Building emotional resilience entails being open and brave enough to communicate your feelings. Instead of allowing your emotions to dominate you, empower yourself by mastering control over them. Surround yourself with individuals who uplift and provide emotional support. Remember, emotional strength is a continuous journey, not a final destination. Cultivate gratitude and concentrate on the positive aspects of your life to enhance your emotional resilience. The key to true strength is found in the capacity to forgive and release grudges. Self-examination and reflection play a crucial role in building emotional resilience. Emotional strength isn't about being impervious, but rather about enduring challenges with determination. Emotional resilience is cultivated by confronting your fears and venturing beyond your comfort zone. Practice self-compassion and avoid being overly critical of yourself in moments of emotional turmoil. The cornerstone of emotional fortitude lies in maintaining composure amidst turbulent circumstances. The most significant conflicts take place internally, where emotional resilience serves as our weapon for victory. 
It's crucial to be aware of your thoughts as they influence your emotions. Emotional strength entails the bravery to embrace vulnerability and authenticity. The more you dedicate yourself to developing emotional strength, the smoother the journey becomes. Embrace self-forgiveness for past errors and concentrate on the current moment to enhance emotional resilience. Discover constructive methods to manage stress and challenging emotions in order to fortify your emotional strength. Emotional resilience involves not repressing your feelings, but rather mastering the art of expressing them in a constructive manner. Cultivating emotional strength demands self-control and a proactive approach to achieving your objectives. The path to emotional fortitude may present challenges, yet the rewards are always significant. Emotional resilience involves striking a harmonious balance between your emotions and rational thoughts. As you cultivate self-love and self-acceptance, your emotional fortitude grows. It is through embracing chaos that one learns to discover beauty amidst the turmoil. Believe in your own abilities and understand that you possess the strength to conquer any emotional obstacle. Show patience towards yourself as building emotional resilience is a gradual process. Do not hesitate to reach out for assistance and guidance whenever necessary. Emotional resilience involves discovering inner peace and satisfaction. Each obstacle encountered presents a chance to cultivate emotional fortitude. It is not about lacking fear, but rather confronting fears with bravery. Remember to be kind and compassionate towards yourself. Developing emotional resilience means accepting both the highs and lows of life. Stay authentic to your values as you navigate the journey of self-discovery and growth. Emotional strength is a continuous process, not just a final destination. Thank you.